Robot vacuums have come a long way. They make keeping your house clean an effortless task because they do a lot of the legwork for you. The only downside is you have to empty out the dustbin every so often when it gets full, otherwise it can't do its job. Now to be fair, that's not really much of an issue because you don't have to do the actual cleaning. However, I'm super lazy, so of course I don't want to do that even. So right here in front of me, I have the Yeedy VacMax vacuum and mopping robot that's going to not only vacuum your house, but also mop it too. And you already know me, I'm all for that. This robot vacuum has 3000 PA of suction and it has smart mopping capabilities so that way it knows when to mop, when to vacuum, and that way it can do both of them simultaneously to keep your house sparkly clean. It features an advanced carpet detection system so that way it automatically detects carpet so it can avoid mopping it so that way you don't walk into some wet carpet because there's nothing worse than stepping in a wet spot on your carpet. Trust me, but I'm sure you've experienced that at some point in your life. It's not good. It also features smart mapping and navigation so it'll actually map out your room similar to a GPS system so that way it knows each and every crevice and corner of your rooms so that way it can keep them clean in nice straight lines. You can even edit the maps that it makes so you can have it avoid rooms or especially clean a room that happens to be particularly dirty. It features a lengthy 200 minute runtime so that way it can clean your entire home without having to stop between rooms. And you can even control it with your voice using Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So, so far this vacuum seems to be checking all the boxes, although I do have some good news and I got some bad news, but the bad news is easily solved with the good news. So first of all, we'll start off with the bad news. The Yeedy Vac Max that we have right here inside of this box, it doesn't automatically empty, so you are going to have to manually empty it. If you don't mind doing that, great, you can save a couple bucks. But if you're me and you're the ultimate epitome of laziness inside this other box we actually have the automatic self-emptying base station that's going to make emptying this robot a thing of the past and that way you don't have to worry about it it actually has the capacity to empty out the yeedy vac max for 30 consecutive days and that means you only have to empty this base out once a month <laughs> That's as easy as it gets without having to empty it at all. Now, like I said, if you don't mind emptying this out every time it gets full, more power to you. You don't have to. But if you're like me and lazy, definitely recommend getting the self-emptying base station. But of course, we'll take a look at both of these products and pair them together and check out how it actually works. First things first, we're going to start off with the robot vacuum itself. Inside the box, we have a quick star guide, a limited warranty, an instruction manual, a power cable, the charging dock, some brush flipper thingies to bring in all the debris, the mopping pad, some replacement mopping pads, as well as the vacuum itself. Oh wow, this is looking very nice. I love this matte white design. Now taking a look at the robot itself, it looks very nice, a nice matte white finish. That way it's not gonna look all dirty when there's dust everywhere because if it's glossy, it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet and be dusty and just look terrible. This is gonna look nice for a long time. Up here on the top, we do have a power button that also functions as a pause button. And right next to it, we actually have a camera, which is actually the mapping sensor so it can actually map out the entire room, which is very cool. Over here on the front, we actually do have a bumper so that way if it bumps into a wall, it knows, hey, something's here, let's turn around and not go that way again. And you wanna keep in mind, make sure you remove all the different plastics that are around here so it can function properly because they do interfere with the sensors. And now this is actually kind of different from all the other robot vacuums I've seen and this actually lifts up, which is really cool. And right here inside is actually where we have the dustbin. You can pull this up, pull it right out and that way you can see the filter in here and also empty it out when it's full of debris. A simple press of this red button, pops open and just dump it out, close it, drop it back inside and then close it, bam. Just like so, it's locked into place. Very easy. I also really like this. We actually have the little tool here with the razor blade and brush built into the robot so that way you always have it if you need it instead of having it lost somewhere in the clutter of your house. Now flipping this thing over, things get a little bit more interesting. And right here we actually have a 360 degree pivoting wheel right next to the charging pin connector so it can charge when it connects to the dock automatically. Over on this side we actually have a little groove here that we can actually attach this brush to just like so, and that way it's gonna bring in all the debris so it can get sucked up into the vacuum. If this happens to get clogged up with animal hairs or something, you can easily push these together, pull this open, take this out, clean it up with that little tool that was built inside of here, put it back inside, close it back up, and just like that, you're ready for it to clean again. We also have these two big off-road looking tires that have some great suspension. Is it considered suspension on a robot vacuum? I don't know, but I really like the way it feels. Very strong, very sturdy. This is going to allow it to go over bumps and curves in your carpet and your flooring. And then down here at the bottom right here, this is actually the water reservoir tank. So you're actually going to fill this up with water and that way it can mock your house and vacuum at the same time. 
And the cool thing about that is the last time I had a robot vacuum and a mopper all built into one, it was either one or the other. It couldn't do both at the same time. So if you wanted to mop your house, you had to take out the dustbin, put the water instead, put on the pad, and then it could mop, but then if you wanted to vacuum, guess what? You take off the mopping pad, take out the water, put the dustbin back in. This way, it has the water and the dustbin at the same time. You can do it all at once. Great. Saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it's more automatic than before. With that being said, as you can see, we don't have the mopping pad on here, so right now it's just a robot vacuum. If you don't want it to mop, you don't have to. So we're actually going to take the mopping pad here, and it's going to just go right over the water reservoir, just like so. And that way the water is going to come out, get this thing nice and wet so it can mop your floor as it's cleaning. And if you don't want to, you can easily just pop it right back off. But like I said, you're going to have this on and this. That way it can mop. It comes to your carpet. It's like, hold on, this is carpet. Then it starts vacuuming and then it goes back to tile. It's like, okay, hold on, got to mop again. So then it switches and starts releasing water. Pretty complicated stuff here. I'm surprised they could do all this. So, I mean, really, this is a very nicely designed robot vacuum. One of the best I've seen, especially since we have the dustbin and the mop at the same time. Now, with that being said, this is, you know, you got to empty this out. We don't want to do that. This is the regular base here. It's going to obviously go over here. Beep, 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 beep. Charging. Okay, we're charging. Yada, yada, yada. That's cool. That's fine. That's dandy. But remember, I'm lazy. So I got the upgrade right here with the self-emptying bin. So let's take a look at that. The crazy thing about this robot vacuum is this is one of the first times I've actually seen where they allow you to upgrade whenever you want to a self-emptying base station. Other robot vacuums are like, okay, if you want the self-emptying model, guess what? You got to go buy another one that comes with the self-emptying station already. There's no way to upgrade it, so this is very cool. Inside this box, we actually have some instructions. Along with the actual instruction guide, we have the charging base that's going to be on the base of the floor. We have a bag that's going to fill up with all the different debris, a piece of plastic that's translucent, the power cable, some screws and a screwdriver, as well as the main part that's going to hold all the debris inside, which is looking very nice satisfying. So it looks like we actually have to assemble this thing satisfying just a tad bit. So this looks very simple. We're going to take the top base, which is the heaviest part, go into the bottom base as the charging pins, put this right here in the spot. Then down on the bottom, there's actually three screw holes so we can screw it together. Wow, that was easy. Three screws and we're ready to go. This, <laughs> wow, this thing actually looks super nice. I really like how futuristic this thing looks. And as you can see up here, you just press that in, it opens up and it's actually preloaded with another bag inside. So that way you always have one inside and ready to go when you empty out the other one. And if you're actually wondering what this translucent piece is, it's in case you have this placed on carpet so it can use it as a ramp. You're gonna just place it right here. It's gonna fall into the little grooves and it'll lock into place and that way the vacuum can go up this little rampway up here so it can charge up. And then right here is where it's actually going to suck out all the debris from the vacuum into the dustbin. Pretty crazy technology. So of course we're going to try this out on the floor with the carpet, with the tile, see how well it mops and vacuums, but as always I have to try it out on my desk just to see what's happening. So I got some power, I'll just place it up here. It actually lines up perfectly. There's actually some grooves in there for the wheels on the bottom. Very nice. What? What was that? That was the coolest the thing ever. QR code on the robot to download the app and get started. Wow, it talks, it has some cool music. Switch on the power before charging. This is very nice. Now, of course, to get this actually set up, we're going to switch on the power on the inside. There's actually a physical switch, just like so. And now it's powering on. All right, so now to get this paired up with the app, make sure you have this switched on physically as well as the Wi-Fi indicator flashing. We're gonna go to our app store and download the Yeedy app. We're gonna open it up, make sure you register your account, do all that good stuff. Once you're inside, we're gonna add a robot. We're gonna find the robot that we have, which is the Yeedy Vac Max. So we're gonna scan the QR code on the robot. You're gonna make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network for this to work. We switched on the robot, just like it says. Oh, this is kind of cool. We actually have the robot scan the phone. Okay. Scan successful. Connecting to the app. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And now it's gonna connect the robot to our phone. <laughs> that was pretty easy and pretty cool. So now we're set up. So we have Yeedy Vac Max, auto cleaning, cleaning record. We could tap on it and open up all the different stuff. We actually have a firmware update, so we might as well update it. All right, so the firmware actually updated in less than two minutes, so that was very nice. Now we can open it up 
and take a look at all the settings. You can have do not disturb to avoid being disturbed so it won't actually clean during certain hours, which is very cool. Continuous cleaning is turned on to make sure every cleaning task is complete. When enabled, the robot will continue with unfinished cleaning task after it's fully charged. Okay, very nice, so it's always cleaning. Switch to mopping mode. You can adjust water flow level by mopping and set mopping preferences. So you can actually choose how much water you want it to come out depending on how soiled your area is. Water flow level has been switched. That's cool, it talks to you as you adjust the settings. I really like that. Vacuum power, we can start at standard, go up to max, and go up to max plus. I'm gonna just leave it at max plus, why not? Although I guess it will use more battery power, so just keep that in mind. You can set up your cleaning schedule here so it can automatically clean at certain times and certain days. You can have the voice report, you can adjust the volume, you can even turn it off if you want, and you can even choose different languages, very nice. You're gonna have your cleaning preferences, so you can have continuous cleaning, do not disturb, auto boost suction will automatically activate max vacuum power when detecting carpet, okay. Automatic empty, when enabled, it'll automatically return to the self-emptying station to empty. Very nice. So of course, up top, you're gonna wanna have it map out the entire area so it knows everything. We have auto empty right here. Emptying the dustbin. Oh, it's doing it right now? Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect that, that caught me off guard. It's like a vacuum for the vacuum. It it emptied it out, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can manually have it automatically emptied if you want to, which is really cool. And then up top we have it set to auto. You can also choose certain areas once you have everything mapped out as well as custom cleaning. Now up on the top right, we can actually see the battery percentage and we can also see that it is charging. And then there's also three dots, which we can rename the robot. It tells you how many hours of cleaning are remaining, which is very nice. And then you can see firmware, serial number, network, and area units, very cool. So really it's pretty simple. The app's actually pretty well designed. So. I mean, I'm gonna press play right now and see what happens on my desk, because I always have to. So of course when you do this, you're gonna wanna have to open up all your doors so that way you can reach every room, map out the place, and clean everything, remove obstacles from the floor. So if you have like chairs at a dining table, make sure they're pushed into the table where they're supposed to be so the robot knows where they are. We're gonna tap on next, first time cleaning, don't leave it unattended and help it when it's necessary, like if you need to move things. Okay, so I mean, we're on a, on a desk, so hopefully it doesn't fall off. I just, I just want to see what happens. Oh! It went to the end, it didn't fall! Very good, edge detection is working perfectly even on this small desk. So there's really not much else to do on a table. Oh, it tells you when it's off the floor too, very cool. Starting charging. Cool. All right, so there's not much we can do. You got to remove the cleaning cloth after it's done. Mop. <laughs> okay, do it automatically. So, so far, this is looking very promising. So there's not much else we can do on a little table like this. So I'm going to actually put this thing on the floor and have it mop and vacuum. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. And we are back. It's been a week since I started using this Yeedy robot vacuum, and I'm actually very impressed with it. Not only with the build quality and design of it, but also the way it actually works. Of course, you already know one of my favorite features about it is having the auto emptying in base station, which of course is optional if you want to have ease of use like me because I'm ultra lazy. But even without that the vacuum does a very good job at cleaning the room it actually goes up and down in straight lines cleaning up every portion of the floor and it gets even better than that it actually goes around the edges of the room cleaning out all the crevices from dirt and debris and using that little spin brush to get it all out there so it can suck it in it's very nice that being said it's also very quiet while you're using it unless you of course max it out to the highest suction power which is good depending on how dirty your house is whether you're cleaning carpet tile hardwood laminate it does a great job vacuuming and mopping both of them and it has that intelligent carpet sensor so that way it doesn't mop your carpet so your carpet stays nice and dry. But remember, like I said, I definitely recommend getting the auto emptying base station because it saves you so much time and effort not having to empty out the robot vacuum every time it decides to clean, especially if you have a bigger house, you don't have to empty it out after it cleans each and every room because it does that for you automatically by itself <laughs> sucks out everything and you just have to replace the bag every 30 days or so depending on how dirty your house is so it's very convenient and I think it's definitely worth it. So that being said, it's a very nice robot vacuum system with or without the self-emptying base station, and I can definitely recommend it if you want to pick one up for yourself. Links, of course, down below in the description. Let me know how you guys like it, and if you guys love to have the auto-emptying base station because you're super lazy, or maybe you like it without it because you don't care. 
because you have extra time on your hands, I guess. But me, self-emptying base station all the way. 